We're here with the Raiders Auckland Nines captain Jared Croker. Jared, um, obviously your first duty as captain before you head into the season. Uh, are you feeling privileged and, and excited? Yeah, definitely. It's, uh, it's a great honour. Um, I'm really excited about the, the Nines weekend. It's a great concept. Um, it's, it's fairly relaxing, as you know, and it's, um, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, um, one of the big talking points is Ken Nagus coming back. How do you expect he'll handle this competition? Yeah, I don't think he'll last long, probably a couple of minutes on and off. But um, yeah, Kenny's been doing a bit of training with us and he's still still fairly fit. And um, like, we, like we talked about before, he's a club legend and um, you know, I'm really honoured to be able to play with him, to tell you the truth. It's, it's going to be exciting. He's been around your camp now for a couple of weeks getting ready for this. Um, tell the fans a little bit about what to expect from him. It's been over 10 years since he's been on the field. It has been, mate. It has been. Um, yeah, look, it's... He's definitely an excitement machine. Um, how much of that he's got left in him, I'm not sure. But um, you know, Kenny's normally a really, really laid back sort of bloke. But um, he's been getting nervous the last few days, so he's pretty excited. But um, yeah, look, it's 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 a great honour. And you know, if we we're talking about it before for someone like um, Lockie Croker. He wasn't even born the last time Kenny Nagus played, so it's um, it's pretty exciting as well. And Lockie, tell us a bit about him. Yeah, he's exciting. He's. Um, you know, he's come through the junior ranks. He's only just turned 18, and he's been been uh, training, doing a pre-season with first grade, and, and going really well. So, um, you know, I've got big wraps on him. I think he's uh, definitely got a big future, and he's, he's a really mature kid. So, um, he's going well. It's going to be um, a tough challenge for you guys. You've got the favourites, the Warriors, in in your pool, the Hanua pool. Um, what do you expect from them? They were a big on the show last year. Yeah, they were. We had them first up last year. It was uh, fairly exciting. I think we got them second. Saturday night, so uh, the crowd will be pretty pumped up by then as well. So it's um, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, you never really know what to expect out of them, but um, yeah, they've got a, they've got a pretty solid side. But we'll, we'll see how we go. There were plenty of young stars born last year from the Nines tournament. Um, who else can we look out for um, apart from Lockie? Um, yeah, like you said, Lockie. I think uh, young Jack Ahern, um, he's there. I think Tavita Pengai is another one. He's only just 18, but he's uh, you know he's got a bright future as well. We've got a few young fellas there, and um, you know Mitchie Cornish and Sam Williams are still battling out that halfback spot as well. So um, you know that starts there as well. We well, got the taste for it last year. How did you you know prepare for this tournament, and and what changes from what you did last year? Yeah, look, it's um, it's it's fairly simple. It sounds, you know, it's it's been made complicated, but you know, the more the better you complete your sets, it makes it easier because you drop the ball two or three times and you're basically defending the whole nine minutes. It makes it pretty tough, and um, I think we saw that with all the games last year about completing your sets, and um, you know that's the main thing we'll be doing. And you know we've got some guys in there that are pretty freaky as well, and you know Branko Lee and, and blokes like that. So um, we've definitely got the talent there, but just completing our sets. You confident the Raiders can get there into the finals at least? Yeah, definitely. Um, there's always a surprise packet and who knows, it could be us.